a bit of an old school hockey game with a lot of goals scored. Goalies wearing the kind of equipment maybe, you know, that I used to wear when we used to give up goals like that. But tonight it was just one of those days there was a lot of good offensive play. Uh, there was some funny bounces and, uh, you know, some beautiful shots that uh, led to a high scoring game, which uh, hopefully was entertaining for everybody here. Players? 100 points? Maybe look back on your career to see what that means. I mean, yeah, it's pretty special to play for such a good program like BU. Um, but it's a lot of my teammates just helping me get there, so I'm really thankful for them. Um, what did it feel like playing in your last game hockey? Uh, pretty emotional, you know. Would have been nice to make it to the championship game one of the past four years. But um, regardless, it's, it's an awesome experience to play in this tournament because it's such a big deal. Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's always exciting for me to play Harvard. Um, I have a lot of friends still on their team, so it's definitely exciting to play them. And I think moving forward, our team is just looking to build on the good things that we're doing in the game and continue to try to put um, 60 hard minutes of BU hockey together. Um, and I think if we do that continually moving forward, um, we'll put ourselves in a good position. Yeah, I mean, it shows like we're both really hardworking teams, um, and we were giving up every time uh, we'd get down or we'd go up. Like we kept grinding that out, and I thought that was uh, good to see out of both teams. It was a hard fought game. And I think um, once Harvard scored, we kind of regrouped right on the bench, and then knew to come out, and the next shift was going to be big. So just um, get back to the little things that we were doing well. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions for Coach? What are some of the good things that you think you can build on in the games? Uh, I have probably two things come to mind immediately, and, and one was the fact you get six goals. You know, I said all along, I think we'll be able to score goals we did tonight. Um, the other thing was I thought there was a little more grit, a little more determination, a little more compete tonight than maybe in the uh, some other games where it, it kind of wavered, went up and down. I, I, I know Harvard's a, a team that's uh, got some kids injured, so they're playing with a short group, but I don't think it slows their game down. They still play with good tempo. They, they play with good compete, and they had to answer the bell multiple times with us getting the lead. Um, and, you know, obviously we would have liked to have done a better job, but I'll take those two things out of it, the, uh, you know, the determination, the grit, and uh, that was a little bit better tonight in the fact we scored goals. Started Aaron O'Neill again. Uh, what was the decision to start her in this game? Well, it's it's really her just her second start, uh, the Minnesota game, and then here, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I think you needed to get her into a game in case something goes on with playoffs. You know, Victoria Hansen has established herself as kind of our number one goalie, and uh, that's a, a credit to her more than uh, a negative with Aaron. You know, as I told Aaron, I can really try to spot you a game, get you a game, and. Uh, uh, you know, this, this may not have been my absolute positive first choice, but the way the season's set up with just two back-to-back -back weekends left, I think it'd be good to go in it with the idea to get Victoria ready with, you know, play Friday, Saturday, play Friday, Sunday, the following weekend, so you're, you're into a little bit of a playoff rhythm that you could potentially play three games in three days in the first round and then a couple games in the, in the semis if you're there. So, uh, you know, we had to give Aaron a, you know, a run and uh, just in case something unforeseen happened. <laughs> it was just a lot of stuff going on out there that uh, I don't think the players, the coaches, the goalies, the defensemen were controlling. You know, I think we, we probably uh, mishandled a couple of pucks that I think were within our ability to deal with. But, uh, you know, sometimes things just snowball and you're, you, know, you don't get a chance to breathe because at least twice, if not three times, they answered really quickly after we got a lead. And, that doesn't give you a chance to, to maybe get a two-goal lead or just get your, your legs back under you. And uh, you give most of the credit to them for some of those things. And we might have added to it by, you know, mishandling a puck or making a less-than-perfect decision. And, uh, you know, 
made some great shots. The one that was up under the crossbar was a great shot. And the last goal, you know, they get a little tip deflection from the goalie out, and there's a puck going in the net again. That dumping goal from Zadie. What goes through your mind as a goaltender trying to play those? Uh, you know, as I said to my staff, I, I think I understand it. Um, watched enough hockey and played that position. I think Aaron saw the a couple of BU kids that were kind of fanning out and late in the process made a decision that, oh, I can get this up there quick, forgetting that she was right in the middle of the net. You know, if you're handling it just to the side, just here. But usually it's just take a split second to stop with your hand behind and then stand up and get it up there. Either way, it would have got up there almost in the same amount of time. But I think it was that, that last minute decision that, oh, I can do this. And hey, defensemen, forwards, wings, pucks break off sticks sometimes. And, probably a little more volatile with a goalie who's got that bigger battle that, you know, you've got to really handle. And it, it looked like it just clipped the heel and, and slid underneath there, you know. But uh, but again, she made some, some timely saves and the, the kids fought back with goals. And, uh, you know, again, so did Harvey. Um, another overtime of 2017. What do you think the team needs to do in order to prepare for a new Uh Probably a number of things. Uh, you know, we, we, we can't, we can't you know, put our thumb on one thing, but uh, the biggest thing for me is, is probably we just have to bring grit and determination from everybody. Particularly at forward, we've got some really talented forwards, but I think over the course of the year, they go up and down a little bit on their sheer, you know, fight, compete, determination, and I think they've got to bring it all the time because uh, either way, they're probably going to score goals. Either way, they're going to be talented players. But they're real talented if, if the fight and the determination is there all the time, you know. And, uh, and a lot of those kids are veteran players; they're not first-year players or, you know, second-year players. They're veteran players, and so they they've got to bring it because we don't have any more off nights per se. You know, we can't just show up when the playoffs start, and, you know, three weekends and say we're ready. We have to be ready tonight. We have to be ready the next two weekends. And uh, so UNH is the next thing on the schedule, and we've got to be ready because there's a lot of room up there in the rink. <laughs> New Hampshire, a big Olympic rink. So that, that's the biggest thing I think we've got to bring. And, uh, I can't draw you a picture of that, but everything from blocking shots to stopping on the four check to staying on the defensive side to getting your stick on people to be strong in your stick all kind of adds up to compete, not to, not how good you can stick handle or how good you can shoot. But those are skill things. Speaking of block shots, to be honest, for Pacey had five. Wow. She kept rolling her out in this game. Okay. A lot of defensive stops. So what have you seen from her play as a player? Yeah, she just, she's a steady player who doesn't bring a lot of flash. You're not going to walk out of the game and say, wow, about that kid. You're, but if you're a coach or if you're a astute spectator, you'll see that uh, <coughs> she plays within herself. She makes good decisions. She's pretty confident around the puck, you know, again, doesn't come up with all kinds of fancy stick handles or toe drags, but, uh, but you know, makes the pass and uh, does little things. And, you know, tonight she was in the way of some pucks uh, uh, continually. Yeah, I was 